Hey there, Howard the Duck here, saying, you can't get better than Wallace Ryan and in the library of graphic literature. Oh, what a ride, what a ride. Once again, live on tape from a secret undisclosed location hidden somewhere deep in the bowels of downtown St. John's comes in the Library of Graphic Literature with your host, this guy, Wallace Ryan. Okay, folks, uh, mm -mm -mm. nice bit of uh, English breakfast tea there, even though I'm not in England and it's not breakfast time. But it's still a delicious tea to have any time of day. Anyway, um, so yeah, I've only got two... Uh, Two new books here to, to have a look at and, uh, and glorify over and uh, then uh, have a spotlight artistic and this week it's on the inimitable Dave Cockrum one of the most underrated artists of all time so anyway love him he, he held a special place in my hair but we'll talk more about that later this week of course I'm a little bit late apologies uh, but it wasn't my fault <laughs> The, and it wasn't the weather out here. It wasn't the, the fault of that either. It was apparently weather in uh, Quebec. So, uh, say Dimash. Anyway, so yeah, no, not a lot to, to look at new, but something really cool to look at for it that's old. Anyway, here we go. Mm. And of course, this week, check out uh, the Thursday, Thursday comics from uh, myself and... Uh, Dennis Osborne, and we did. We got an extra long episode, actually. It's uh, and part of it. Uh, you can watch part of it on on YouTube also, but the YouTube all, all ends probably about two thirds of the way through, and the podcast itself has a bit of extra sort of bonus content, and is now available on iTunes and Spotify. So check it out, Thursday Comics. Fun, fun, fun in the sun. Okay. Let's uh, let's get to it. Okay, it's a nice afternoon here. It's actually nice and warm here. It's just it's around freezing, so it's actually just above freezing because it's actually raining out there as I was walking home, which is funny because last Friday it was like <clears throat> minus thirty degrees Celsius here with the wind chill, so it was bloody bloody cold, bloody cold, brutally cold, brutally brutal, brutal, brutal. Get off me, you. Okay. Now, some notes and crap from last week. Okay, so, first on the chopping block for this week is... Doo -doo -doo -doo. It's Blackhawk, uh, Blood and Iron. Dun, 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 dun. This is from uh, Howard Chaikin, Martin Pasco, Rich Burchett, and Mike Grell, which I'm assuming they must be... Additional stories yeah, added into to the back of this. I don't know why. I guess this is sort of the <coughs> continuation from the uh, <coughs> from Chicken's uh, Chicken's uh, Black Hawk. But um, yeah, he did a two part. It was a two parter, and I kind of liked it actually. I remember at the time there were some people who didn't like it. I don't know why. I, I mean, I love pop stuff and all that, and and. Uh, Good old Howard, he seems he seems to be really good with the pulp. This is around the same time he'd done the uh, he'd done the Shadow. He did a magnificent Shadow series. I don't know if any, any of you out there have had the pleasure of checking out, <coughs> but it is worth it. And this one, like I said, the art. I mean, I always loved uh, the art, but I mean, this uh, Blackhawk in some ways does sort of remind me of some of. Uh, of some of uh, Chicken's other people, characters from American Flag to Cody Starbucks, so it's it sort of has that sort of same feeling. Great art, of course. I love I love uh, love Chicken, as does Dennis, <laughs> my pal. So yeah, this was a two-parter. It was like a prestige format they called it or whatever at the time, which is basically like two thin soft covers essentially. But yeah. Pretty interesting, anyway. Oh no, it was three. That's right. But anyway, worth worth checking out. And then a couple of other people thrown in. 
for a good measure including apparently says a micro here somewhere but must be towards the end or something like that anyway but yeah definitely beautiful uh, a beauty book check out that arm something else isn't it but uh uh, but yeah, definitely <coughs> what I would recommend that you get there. Uh, yeah, the Black Hawk mini series. Um, yeah, like I say, especially if you're a if you're a chicken fan, you'd like this. Okay, <coughs> now the other one, which is a, I do believe this is a reprinting. Yeah, well I figured out. I had to get this because well, Dennis told me to get it. <laughs> So, I had to. So this is, I do believe, a, let's, let's check it out here. Anyway, this is the ultimate, do, 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 do. How ultimate can you get? Uh, but I do believe, it doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure this is a, is a second printing, I think. Can't remember now for the life of me. But anyway, wonderful artwork, wonderful stories. Um, um, like I say, uh, as soon as Dennis said, oh, you have to read it, uh, Dennis has never, never steered me wrong before, with great art by Brian Hitch, inkers, Neri Curry, and Hitch himself, but yeah, it's, oh, look, and Captain America, created by Joe Simon, Jack Kirby, oh, they got it right there now, didn't they, <laughs> but anyways, uh, he recommended it to me, said it's actually, uh, one worth reading, Especially if you're a Miller fan, which I am. Here's a close up on some of the artwork there. The artwork is beautiful, though. I do like the artwork. Definitely well worth it. Check about it. Yeah. And enjoy reading this one. I kind of like sort of alternate versions of, uh, of characters and. Uh, and the like, you know, everything from the Elseworlds to the What If from Marvel and DC, and just would like to see a bit more of that anyway, you know, considering uh, since they're great stories. And plus, you'd be able to encourage a lot more uh, artists to, who are, where they might not work for DC or Marvel to come in and get, try their own unique twists on them. Kind of like Peter Bagg when he did the megalomaniacal Spider Man. What a comic! Oh, oh, oh. Still the funniest Spider-Man comic out there. Anyway, on to the spotlight. A distinct do 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 And this week, oh, it's actually getting hot, warm in here. Uh, this week, I'm going to be talking about the late great Dave Cockrum. Do 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 do. Dave. I love Dave, Dave Cockrum. He, uh, he was very influential with me. Uh, Cockrum was born in 1943, I think it was, and he lived, he only lived until, it was, it was 2006 when he died, so he, he was pretty, kind of young, actually, and, uh, uh, and I was shocked, I can remember what, reading about it at the time, it was just like, oh my God, because he, he was really big for me. Um, he started out really, um, he'd been in the army, stuff like that. When he got out, he got into drawing and comics and stuff like that. He did do some stuff for Warren and all that. And uh, he began work uh, as an assistant for the great Murphy Anderson. And then he he began to do the, the Legion, his first big, big comic. And he, he revamped the Legion. He really did bring the Legion uh, into the future. I mean, the at that point, the the Legion, which was funny, kind of like the X Men, had kind of sort of fallen on hard times, and he took over it with, with the writers there at the time. But he changed all the costumes, and he did a magnificent job. Some of some of the costumes, some of them which are right here, that he changed became uh, became uh, uh, iconic in, in their own sense. I was like the Lightning Lad one there, but oh, great, great, great redesigns. Colossal Boys and Shrinking Violet Hurts was cool. And even, even uh, good old comedian boy, 
good old Reap, Reap Daigle, as they called him, I think it was. Uh, but yeah, I just loved, there was something about his artwork I, I just absolutely loved. And this one actually has, is mostly by him. This is a uh, DC Archives. And here we have him. Oh, who was that? That was Cockrum and Anderson. So Anderson is inking him here instead. Uh, which is kind of interesting because it gives a different look to it. And, but then he began, he began to take over. Kerry Bates was doing a lot of the writing there at the time. And, uh, like I say, he really did change. I really like what he did with the Timberwolf costume because the old Timberwolf costume kind of sucked. And he, uh, he came aboard and the Karate Kid won. Beautiful designs, just... The, the guy could design a great costume and the Duo Damso one, which was really cool. But uh, yeah, now he left some of the ones as they were, like Brainiac 5 and, and Cosmic Boy. He did actually leave some as is, because I guess he recognized, you know, some of them were, were there. And this is one of my favorites too, was uh, Wildfire, or Erg 1. And uh, I loved his, his artwork is spectacular, especially when, when he would ink it himself. Absolutely killer. And this was, uh, and this was, uh, there, here we go. And this is around the time I actually started to, I'd collected comics, but I really started to get into collect, I, you know, collected comics as a kid. But this is the first time that I really, really started to get into, look, here's the new Timberwolf, classic Timberwolf costume he designed. Absolutely stunning, loved it. Anyway, so, uh, oh yeah, and the, his Fatal Five, fabuloso, worth I mean, all these, the artwork on, on all these issues is just stunning. And he was usually best when he inked himself, too, right? This one, Tear, another cool one. And, uh, yeah, and then this was the one, actually, this is it here, issue 200. That's the one that really started me. I can remember buying this at a, at a, at a drugstore. Actually, funny enough, just two blocks or no, a block from where I am. Right now there used to be a drugstore there and that's where I got it. And I, like I said, I fell in love with it. I didn't, didn't know who this guy was, but it was amazing stuff. Oh yeah, Molecule Master, he was cool. This of course is the return of, uh, is the return of Wildfire. So really cool. And then, uh, and then this was actually sort of a crossover, it was a, uh, uh, Dave Cockrum and inked by Mike Grell. This was uh, this was one of my favorite comics growing up. I love this one. Some great old uh, ones in that issue too. But yeah, the, even that one was pretty good. And I love this one, The Wrath of the Devil Fish. Probably uh, yeah, I, I do believe at the time that was Cockrum's last kick at the uh, at the leech, and, and he got pissed off at uh, them because they wouldn't return his artwork or something like that. Anyway, he moved, of course, where, because where else would people go back then, but across the hall to the Avengers. And he worked, he did a, you know, various different Avengers properties over time. Uh, one of my first and, and most favorite of his at the, at the time, along with another one which I'll show you, was the Giant Size Avengers number two. I do believe I even have this on the, uh, the spinner rack here. Yeah, well, right there. <laughs> I have it there. But this was this was an amazing issue. Cochran once again inking himself. Like I say, for the most part, Cochran was always best when he inked himself. I kind of liked when Frank Charmonte inked him, but this one this one kind of reminds me of Giant Size X Men. And this page, I always love this page with Mantis there. Now this was when Mantis was cool. The Mantis in the movie, I don't know. Blech. Yuck. Anyway, Death of, the good old Death of Swordsman. And there's some, and this one, was, he did another annual, but unfortunately it was inked and ruined by Joe Gilla. I don't know, I just never, never could cotton to Joe Gilla. So, uh, like I say, he uh, did some other things and uh, one of the things I did want to show you was that uh, he actually 
came on board and he inked uh, Dave uh, Gil Kane for the first issue of John Carter, Warlord of Mars, do 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 do. Uh, and of course, beautiful, beautiful story. Uh, I had this when I was a kid too. Great art. And I mean, this has all the action of a uh, of a uh, of a Gil Kane story with the polish of uh, with the polish of uh, Dave Cockrum. Now he did do a later issue too. Um, oh. Hang on a second, I'll find it here for you. He did the famous Dejah Thor's issue. Oh, here we go. This was it. And this one, of course, he inked by Rudy Nebrez, and actually, who di actually does a good job here. But this is an absolute masterpiece. This was one of his, one of his other great, great masterpieces, I think. Now, now of course, <coughs> No look at Dave Cockrum would be complete without a look at his role in the giant size sex men. Dun, 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 dun. Of course, he co created these characters with uh, Len Wein and the boys, and he designed basically, well, he, basically, he's responsible for the design of Storm, uh, Colossus, uh, Thunderbird, and Nightcrawler. And of course, the new and Cyclops' is new and snaz snaziola visor there. I can still remember buying this comic off the stand, and I knew as soon as I opened it up to the very first page and looked at it that it was going to be a great comic. And this this really is one uh, next to the Avengers number two. This is uh, annual number two. This is another one of his masterpieces. Absolutely stunning. One of the one of the great X-Men stories. And uh, Krak Krak Krakoa, first appearance of him, which is really cool. <laughs> Look at that, come on. This guy, this guy could draw. Then of course he came back. This is inked by Bob McLeod here. And, and he kept up doing the great work. Uh, Frank Cheramonte inked him for a few issues here. Absolutely stunning work, and it just went from there. He made, he really did, and I loved his his uh, uh, Sentinels story at the time. Great, great Sentinel story. Next, I, I, to me, it's the the next best best Sentinel stories to Neil Adams and Roy Thomas's Sentinel story, and. He did the Futurians, which was his own project, and I do believe that he had a Marvel graphic novel of that. And he also did some work, and I mean, he did a, other work here, but these are, I just picked up my favorite here. This is the Thunder Agents. He did a few uh, few issues of, uh, of uh, I can't remember who it was he, he did in here. Uh, I do believe it was, yeah, he did the inks, uh, part of it here, uh, and then uh, No Man is an Island, he did, uh, No Man, he did the pencils and, and inks. But uh, whenever whenever he inked it, it tended to look like his, his stuff. Uh, and this here, this is the, uh, this is an example just of, of some of his stuff from back then, but yeah, he did he did some cool stuff in this run. Uh, that's Keith Giffen there, but uh, absolutely stupendous. Come on, it's funny when you're flipping through these trying to find it, it never ends up where you're trying to put it to. But, uh, but yeah, anyway, it was a good. Uh, it was a. Uh, it was a good little uh, run for him. Um, and like I say, he passed away unfortunately in 2006, very sad. But yeah, he uh, he really captured my imagination when I was a kid, first collecting comics. The, and with all the beautiful designs in the, for the costumes for the Legion and all that, I would, I would actually sit down and I'd draw from the comics, I'd draw all his characters. So he was one of the first people that I copied when I 
first started drawing comics as a kid, as a kid in my teens, and then of course went on to other stuff and developed me my own style and learned how to draw on my own. But he he was the one that got got the ball rolling for me. So uh, anytime you can uh, get out there and uh, check out good old Dave Cockrum. He's 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 up there in my top ten, no problem. Anyway, hopefully uh, if the boost coming in on time this week. Now uh, you might even get a second kick at the cat hair with me. Um, but otherwise, don't forget this Thursday. Check out Thursday Comics and uh, and like that page. Besides liking my page here, you know, like that page and uh, and show some of your friends. Actually, see see if you can get some of your friends into listening to the podcast or even watching this show. I'd like to see, uh, you know, word get out there and get around, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll get a bit of an audience, and then we'll uh, we'll do nothing but good in your name. <laughs> anyway, it's that time once again. Thanks for having me over. Okay, we'll see you uh, same bad time, same bad channel uh, later on in the week. Okay, keep reading them comics. Okay, see you later. Bye. Whoa! Here I go. Wow, I sucked away. <laughs> oh.